how to survive in the woods with nothing? What? Yeah. It's pretty intense. Right off the bat, I see some potential danger. Oh my god, potential danger. I wonder what it could be. I'm gonna take a really wild guess here and say that it's a small hill that he has to fucking walk up. See? You never give up. But I'm fucking done. <laughs> like, I was completely joking, but I was actually right. Got simple, minute instructions. But oh shit, what up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. But right off the bat, I want to give you guys a little bit of a story, alright? So last night I was hanging out with one of my friends. We were at one of my other friend's house and we were just relaxing, okay? While we are just sitting there chilling, I decided to pull out my phone and check one of my newest YouTube videos to see how it's doing. To see who got fucking offended this time, right? But I whip out my phone, open up this shitty Samsung YouTube app that always crashes on me, and I go to my newest video and everything is going great, right? After I quickly see how the YouTube video is doing, I scroll down a little bit to read the comments. I check out the comments. The comments look pretty normal. Everyone's calling me a fucking mug and shit. And yes, I'm talking about a legit fucking coffee mug. It's not like a hidden insult or like one of those racist slurs that no one even knows about. My life has actually got to the point in time where people on the internet are calling me a legit fucking coffee mug. An object that you literally put fucking coffee in. But besides, what am I even doing with my life? The video looked like it was doing really good and I was pretty happy about it. Well, that was until I saw the fucking recommended bar. Nothing but shit like this. Hey, what's up, guys? I don't know if you heard, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He doesn't even fucking move! What the fuck, dude? Literally over 80% of the video and he's just fucking staring at the screen. He doesn't talk, he doesn't use body language, he doesn't even fucking nod his head. All he does is stare at the screen like I've talked about this guy in the past but either has to be one of two things he has to either be one a parody account a joke right or two a fucking vegetable and thanks for watching and peace out see ya I love how this dude always watches the entire outro as well I swear to god I would not be surprised if this man is legit a fucking vegetable I'm not gonna lie, the last part was actually pretty funny. Like, just... <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. Like, I've already made a video about him, but he is everywhere. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk- But I stumbled across this dude's videos, and I watched a few of them. And I can confidently say that I actually believe that this man is paralyzed. You know, guys, we should actually not laugh at him. He could have actually been a part of the military. And by the military, I'm talking about the little Boy Scout kids. Because he really seems like that type of guy. You know, the people that take up the survival classes just in case they're lost in the fucking woods. Even though they live in downtown New York City. You know, the type of people that write up guides on how to survive these fucking insane scenarios. That we all know 99% of the time, if you were in that situation, you would just straight up be dead. Perfect example, right? It's a YouTube video. It's titled, How to Survive a Fucking Nuclear Holocaust. Play that shit. Okay, what even is this? Is this a video game? Is this his intro? Listen, man, I just want to find out how to survive the next fucking nuclear bomb. So please, can we skip this X-Files bullshit? Like, dude, this is a fucking YouTube video. You need to chill out, alright? During the Cold War, if I was ever seen on a computer screen, and if someone were to press Y, this would be very different. My name's Evan Murdoch, I'm gonna show you how to survive a nuclear holocaust. Oh my god, you're gonna teach me how to survive a nuclear fucking holocaust. Not a nuclear bomb, but a nuclear holocaust. Where thousands of nuclear bombs are sent out right at your country. In every fucking direction. You know, shit, I'm gonna be real with you, man. In the beginning, I was really skeptical. But now I'm confident that you know what you're talking about. I mean, shit. You have a fucking army hat that you had to show off in this video. You obviously know what you're talking about. Side note, by the way. <laughs> I love how we actually got an army hat just to put it into his video, along with some ammo. 
<laughs> okay, dude. We get it. You like Call of Duty. So if a nuclear attack were to ever happen, it will take 30 minutes to hit the United States launch from Russia. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know that. You actually get 30 minutes to realize that you're going to die. Really just the perfect amount of time to not freak out, but also freak the fuck out. I'm pretty sure I can look this up and find out how they would do it, but I would actually like to see how the government would tell us that we're about to get, I don't know, fucking nuked. You're just watching TV one day, just chilling out. All of a sudden, the channel changes violently, and immediately this starts playing. Drop Alert Nation, I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Well, everyone, I don't know how else to say this. I hope you guys are having a great day today, but the short story of it is, uh, well, you're all gonna die in about 30 minutes. That's right. We're about to be fucking nuked. Chances of you surviving is basically zero. You have a better chance of having a heart attack from just hearing this message as we speak. If you're one of those rich fucks that decided to buy a fallout shelter 20 years ago, I would like to gladly let you know that you're still fucked as well. The new nuclear bombs are fucking insane, and your little fallout shelter is gonna protect you just as much as a little kid hiding under his blankets from a minecraft youtuber it does nothing you're gonna die it's a fucking joke chill out but yeah there's really not much else to say i hope you guys have lived a good life so far and if you didn't too fucking bad well that's pretty much it enjoy dying along with the rest of the human race in a big ball of fire i'm gonna go fuck my hamster good night you pieces of shit. I'm not gonna lie, dude. If I was just watching TV with one of my friends and that came on, that fucking intro. What is up? And he just sat there and informed us that Kim Jong-un just launched a bunch of nuclear bombs at us and we're basically gonna die in the next 30 minutes. At the same time of him low-key insulting us, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I would probably start dying <laughs> and then literally dying. In a big ball of flames, with fumes that just smelled like sadness, regret, and cyberbullying, if that even makes any fucking sense. There will be warnings about this if an international strike were to happen. A dirty bomb that's different, you don't have any time to prepare. So what do you do? Well, if you have fallout shelter, you go into that, you get all your supplies ready. So let me get this straight. He titles this video, How to Survive a Fucking Nuclear Holocaust, right? Like, it's literally the fucking title. And after three minutes of rambling and stupid intros, he finally gets to the part where he's going to explain to us how we can actually survive the nuclear bombs. And how does he explain it? How does this fucking shoe explain it? Well, yeah, just, just kind of, like, go to a fallout shelter. I don't know. Nobody has a fucking fallout shelter, you fucking idiot. Do you really think everybody just has a fallout shelter? Where twice a week they do a little safety drill? Susan, Sally, Steven, come downstairs. We gotta do our weekly fallout shelter routine. You know, just in case, I don't know, North Korea were to end the world. But the main danger of a nuclear weapon isn't the blast. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. Seriously, just stop. The, 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 the main danger of a nuclear war isn't the blast. Listen here, you Call of Duty man. The United States alone has enough nuclear bombs to wipe out almost all life on planet Earth. Not once, not twice, but four fucking times. And that is just the United States, right? If you had everyone in there, it's gonna be even more than that. And if this were to happen, chances are you would be fucking destroyed. And I already know what you're gonna say. Oh, but the fallout, the fallout's so the radiation, dude. Yeah, if you survive the fallout nuclear war and nukes being thrown in every single direction, sure, I guess you'll have to worry about the fallout. But chances are, you're just gonna be dead like pretty much everyone else will be. But hey, what do I know, right? You're the chosen one. Set us free. When a nuclear weapon goes off, all that dust and debris is radioactive. Meaning that it, when it, when, when it then settles, it'll emit radiation. That being a hazard to you. When you go outside, the world's gonna be different. Oh god, dude, is he gonna really go into the stereotypical video game shit and be like, When you leave your fallout shelter or vault, there's gonna be bad people in the world. They're gonna want what you have. And they will do anything to get it, so be sure to have a gun on you at all points and times. And don't forget to press the V key to use slow motion mode. There won't be any houses, there won't be any schools, any buildings. All the trees will look fine but with no leaves. Any survivors will want, when you, will want what you have, and they'll do anything to get it. When you do go outside, you want to have a small patrol pack, weapon if you- I swear to god, I'm done with YouTube, like, I'm- <laughs> I'm just 
Jeez, what the fuck? You can get one. Armor with a plate in it. This does have a plate in it. Uh, you want to be wearing your MBC suit if the rads are just if there is any radiation left. Wait, what? Did he just say if there's any radiation left? There was just a fucking nuclear war. Yes, there's going to be radiation left. All right, dude, let's just see how he wraps this video up. I really don't want to hear him talk for 15 minutes. Explaining all the details on how you can jerk off safely without exposing your dick to radiation. And how when you get out of the fallout shelter, there's going to be a new breed of humans that are genetically modified with fucking cheese balls ruling the world and how you have to stop them. And how you have to remember to use the fucking slow motion button. I've only covered the subject extremely quickly. You know, look into it if you've got some spare time. Now remember, the majority of the survival, in fact all, of the survival is down to you. No, it's not down to you whatsoever. It's down to if you can win the fucking lottery. And by winning the lottery, I'm talking about barely surviving the nuclear war with no arms or legs. Face down in the fucking mud with warts growing on your dick because of radiation. And how far are you willing to go? And remember, this is a funky space chicken survival guide. Hope you survive it. See you guys next time. And that's the end of the video. That's it. It just ends after that. You know, to be honest with you guys, it was a really powerful video. He just looks at the camera and says, It's up to you if you survive. And then he fucking ends the video. Now remember, the majority of the survival, in fact all, of the survival is down to you. And that's it, dude. Well, in conclusion today, guys, if a nuclear war happens, chances are you're fucked. Chances are we're both fucked. I think, honestly, unless you're the senator of fucking Cheeseland, I think everybody's fucked. Unless you're the president, or maybe the Illuminati, or maybe you're just an average dude that eats too much pizza, and you just sold your soul to fucking Satan. <laughs> You know, it's actually not that bad of a deal. He seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I actually need to stop showing this guy's face. Someone's gonna legit get scared. They're gonna think I'm like secretly a part of the Illuminati and that I worship Satan in my free time. Just sit there in a dark room all day drawing triangles on the fucking wall. Honestly speaking though, I don't know why people think this guy's scary whatsoever. I would slap this bitch in the fucking ear. Like honestly, I would rather fight Satan to the death with a spoon than fight this guy. But the main danger of a nuclear weapon isn't the blast. It's hiding from me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you did, dude, it's your lucky day. Because for every single person that leaves a like on this video, not only will you be supporting me and I will love you until you are dead, I will always love you. But if you hit the like button on today's video, you will be receiving no scam, no lie, money back guaranteed, only quick scopes, a brand new invitation to leave planet Earth and come to a party on fucking Mars. This is not a scam at all. As soon as you hit the like button on this video, there will be an intergalactic taxi right outside your house. That's right, a spaceship that will take you straight to Mars and you will live like a king or a queen or, I don't know, fucking dog. I mean, it's really whatever you're into. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Thank you so much for all the support on my last video. It was just insane. And again, thanks for watching and don't forget to look both ways when you cross the road. I'm just looking out for you guys. Peace. Shit without school Still out here passing my classes Homie, believe that Been stepping up on my fashion And you can see that I'm working hard on a weekday Just to go relax Got all my brethren here, man We're all back You know the party was lit Fire emoji, a lot of beer and some chicks And then my boys wanna get a lot of likes on their pics So it'll end up online As soon as five o'clock hits Stop Think a little